newsrooms right now in a time of festivity in this developing story the two local tourists have died at the jomo kenyatta public beach after the boat they were in capsized leading to their deaths the three were part of a family of 15 that boarded the boat to enjoy christmas at the beach one died after drowning at the beach while another one lost their lives while undergoing treatment at the premier hospital mombasa red cross chairperson and kenya maritime authority chairman hamisi moguya has confirmed this incident we're now joined in live by francis talaki from pirates beach in mombasa Francis, good morning, good evening, actually. It's not a very good evening there, though, but what do we know so far? When did this happen and why did it happen? Well, uh, Trevor, it's a sad moment here at uh, Jomo Kenyatta Public Beach, commonly known as uh, Pirates Beach, uh, where a family this morning they came here to enjoy. It is a family of 15. Uh, that is the information that we have been able to receive from the Kenya Red Cross that have been doing uh, the, some works here in terms of making sure that they have been able to uh, assist those families. But I'm now joined by the Kenya Red Cross chairman, Mombasa Brancha, uh, to talk to us. Maybe talk to us about what the incident that happened, uh, what really happened with regard to uh, the family that has lost their, their two uh, uh, loved ones. Yeah. Yes, we had a family, an Asian family from uh, Nairobi. Uh, who, they belong to the Memon community. Uh, then they were riding a boat because people, that's what most people will do here, having fun with their family. And then the boat capsized. Uh, Eleven were rescued. Uh, two Two adult females were rushed to the hospital together with uh, two infants of a, between three and five months. And fortunately, one of the ladies uh, passed on, and the second one is in HDU at Premier Hospital. Uh, and then later on, we also uh, the body of uh, uh, the body of an adult male from the same family was also found here at the beach. So that confirms two people who have uh, passed on. And we are continuing to give the, the family psychosocial support and also whatever necessary support that they require at this time. Yeah. Many things. Maybe we still have the chairman of Kenya Maritime Authority who is here. Um, what next? Because now uh, we're still early in the festivities and uh, the holidays is not over. We still have New Year. What else in terms of the mitigation and measures uh, you're doing to curb such cases? Yeah, we are going to intensify the safety campaign. Uh, the holidays are just starting and uh, it's unfortunate that we've had this incident. So tomorrow we are going to deploy more officers on the ground to make sure that uh, we, we don't face uh, a similar incident uh, uh, once more. Yeah, but uh, I want to urge uh, the holiday makers uh, to be careful as they enjoy the oceans and the beach and also make sure they put on the safety, uh, the life jackets when they board uh, the, the boats. Uh, it's unfortunate that this has happened. Uh, we were able to save at least two, peop uh, two people. We lost two people and we were able to, to save at least uh, nine of them. So it's unfortunate, but uh, we are going to increase our surveillance of, uh, of the uh, Bamburi Beach. Yeah. Maybe last time, very briefly, Director General of KMA. Um, uh, 15 people in one boat, is this too much? Yeah, that's quite, uh, that's quite a number, but I'm told there were 11, 11 people. Two I mean, two died, nine were rescued. Uh, it is still a very sad one because losing even one person is not, particularly when, in this season when people are happy and enjoying, it should never arise. So as the chair has said, we just want to, 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 to encourage people to be aware, to let them be aware that the water is a good place, friendly, but it's not so friendly. So whenever you go inside, just make sure that you have your, your, the safety gears. And uh, we also urge the boat operators to ensure that the safety gears are able to, to close very well. To close very well so that even if an incident happens, you don't depart from the safety gear. It's able to hold you very, very well. So we'll just continue promoting this to make sure that people are careful. Yes. Many things. So those are the officials from the Kenya Maritime Authority together with the Kenya Red Cross who are still here monitoring the situation that tells us uh, from tomorrow they will intensify operations and sensitization uh, to the residents given that until this moment people and residents are still enjoying here uh, at the Pirates Beach which is one of the most uh, largest areas uh, the public beach that uh, uh, residents are allowed to access and they're saying that tomorrow there will be a, uh, more uh, sensitization and making sure that uh, the regulations will be followed. Back to you, Trevor.
It's Francis. Francis Pelaki there speaking to us live from Mombasa. The Christmas mood has slightly been dampened there, but we are here praying for the family and sending out our condolences.